Hey everybody, today we're going to be learning about average rate of change. In order to find the average rate of change of a function on an interval AB, you need to find the slope of the secant line that connects the points A f of A and B f of B. But what is a secant line? A secant line is a line that connects two points on a curve. Here's an example of a secant line that passes through the points 1 f of 1 and 9 f of 9 on the red function. Now in order to find the slope of a secant line on an interval a, b, we need to find the change in y over the change in x. This corresponds to f of b minus f of a over b minus a. Let's do a practice problem. Suppose you need to find the average rate of change of the function y equals radical x on the interval 1, 9. Here's a picture of this scenario. We need to find the slope of the secant line that connects the points 1 f of 1 and 9 f of 9. This corresponds to f of 9 minus f of 1 over 9 minus 1. Simplifying, we get 3 minus 1 over 8, which equals 1 fourth. In other words, the average rate of change over the interval 1 9 is 1 fourth. Let's look at a slightly trickier problem. The rate at which a guitarist runs across the stage is modeled by the function v of t shown below for the interval 0 to 10. Find the average rate of change of the guitarist's velocity over the interval 3 8. Pause the video and try the problem on your own. So to find the average rate of change, we need to find the slope of the secant line that connects the two points. In this case, the name of our function is v of t, so we're going to use that and apply the average rate of change formula. This gives v of 8 minus v of 3 over 8 minus 3. Then we can use a calculator to simplify these values and get our final numerical answer, 0.358. But don't forget units. In this problem, we're dealing with a change in velocity over change in time. So the units of the average rate of change are feet per second squared. Now let's end with a conclusion statement. We can say the average rate of change of the guitarist's velocity over the interval 3.8 is 0.358 feet per second per second. And that gets us back to the context of the problem. So let's end with a question to ponder. How do you think you'd find the slope at a single point on a curve? In other words, how can we find the average rate of change at a single point? If we apply our average rate of change formula here, we would get f of 4 minus f of 4 over 4 minus 4, which is 0 over 0. In calculus, this is called an indeterminate form. We're going to talk about this more in a future video. For now, you need to memorize and truly understand that the average rate of change is the slope of the secant line, and this is found by f of b minus f of a over b minus a. And that's how you rock calculus. Thank you.